Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. I've got games coming soon. I've got new games. I've got Colocation, the next generation of virtual reality multiplayer and so much more. There's also a giveaway if you want a chance to win Death Horizon Reloaded on the Oculus Quest. Subscribe to the channel and there's a link down below on how to enter. So let's just get started on the news. I've got tons to go over. So Epic News, a title that is going to be right at home on the Oculus Quest system and one that just satisfies my retro virtual reality craving and that is the sequel to Pixel Rip 1989. We have Pixel Rip 1995, a whole new generation of console gaming at this time, one that I grew up with. This is coming to the Oculus Quest and PC VR on April 23rd. That is just a week away, but the PlayStation virtual reality version is delayed and won't be out to a later date. Sometime, I think they said it was May. So this is a sequel. It's going to give us more than the previous title with much bolder environments, such as an arcade to play in. Also, they're going to play on our nostalgic heartstrings as they did in the first one as we enter the SNES generation, such as playing consoles on a 15-inch video combi really late at night in the house. So you don't want to wake up anyone else, so you have to play complete the game without your mum catching you. And in the trailer that they've just released, I've seen homages to Streets of Rage, Castlevania, Mega Man already. Yes! In this one you play someone called David who's one of the best gamers of his generation and he's set out to save the world from interdimensional chaos. The game frequently blurs the lines between retro reality and real life where you're going to have to balance the real world whilst you're trying to play and complete a game. And this is going to lead to many stressful situations, just like the old school games did. So of all the Brazilian dev company, you've got a sweet title here that I just cannot wait to play. Hopefully Streets of Rage also drops on the 23rd so I can bathe in nostalgia that week. That'd be fantastic. So I liked sharing with you last time a rare game that I find on SideQuest, a hidden gem that just deserves some more attention. And it's an experience that you can have for free. So this one just hit the stores on the 9th of April and it just got an update today on the 16th called Axe Edgend, Axe Edgend, Axe, just a mix between Axe Legend. And that's coming from Subversion Squads and I wonder if that's a reference to the repository. Anyway, this is definitely one of the more polished games on SideQuest, 100%. It's a defensive title with charming animated visuals and runs really great on the quest system, really good. You have traps, you have weapons, you have waves upon waves of enemies that storm the area that you're in, and you have to take them all out. And eventually, this unlocks more of the map for you to progress further in to the adventure to save the princess. This title even has mini games to give you a new fresh style of play, which give you rewards if you complete them, such as one where I had to put down trampoline traps and use that to get across areas of the map that you wouldn't be able to reach because you can't jump. And it was a ton of fun and it broke up the style of play. So you get 13 items to enjoy. There's also three maps, including boss battles and more to be added as the game progresses. This is a title that I could see on the official Oculus store and the fact that you get to try this free on SideQuest is fantastic. I do recommend this one, 100%. So if you're here often, it's no surprise to you now that I love Lies Beneath. It, I think it's just such a sweet title for the Oculus Quest because it's inspired by Resident Evil and Silent Hill, some of the best survival horror games in its genre. Lies Beneath creates a sense of dread as you progress through the creepy town of slumber that's in Alaska as you're trying to find your dad and save the town from whatever is going on. The game has story, it has action, it has puzzles, inventory management, jump scares, it all works. It's a really great title and the art style drew me to it. Most of all, no pun intended, it has that hand-drawn cell-shaded art style giving you a very stylistic quality and a unique vision for a VR game. The game is now available on PC and it's supposed to be a one-to-one -one port. So if you've played this on the Oculus Quest, it's supposed to be exactly the same on PC. And if you're playing on PC, it should be exactly the same on the Oculus Quest. And it's cross-buy as well. So if you've already bought it, you can enjoy it on both platforms. And it should be giving you around a six to seven hour campaign to enjoy. So it will keep you busy. 
I do recommend this title as well. It's one of my favorites on the quest. Okay, exciting news around virtual reality multiplayer and being able to play it with friends in the same space, and that is co-location. This is opening up opportunity for business such as virtual reality arcades. Oculus really is trying to push Vive out of that door, it seems, as they work on bringing costs down. It's 3,000 per head normally for businesses, and with Oculus Quest, it's 1,000 per head. And for commercial use like you and me, it opens up opportunities for us to play with our friends in the same space, and also interesting styles of play that we probably haven't experienced before, especially in virtual reality. So the Quest latest SDK for Unity contains a reference to co-location support. And I know this is the thing that we kind of want is in high demand for us to be able to play virtual reality shooters in the same space as our friends on this system. So the code was seen first by Bentham Realities, a game developer who were creating a game called Hermitaka. Upload VR looked through a previous version of the SDK as well, trying to find out when this had appeared. And apparently it appeared in August 2019. So this has been around for a little while now. So whether or not this is going to mean we're going to get co-location games anytime soon, I don't really have my hopes up. This is at least great confirmation that something will be coming down the road for us to experience a new generation of virtual reality multiplayer and perhaps even esports. I'm hoping that they even go a step further where we can have co-location, but we're not co-located. So we're playing across the internet PVP, but we're using the kind of the same space. That would be pretty sweet. I'm sure the logistics are quite hard, but it sounds pretty sweet. So Resolution Games Secret has been revealed. We finally get a glimpse at what that madness was that Resolution Games posted in one of my previous videos where people and employees of, of that studio were like rolling around on the floor and I thought they were playing all the games until I looked closer and thought they were going to be releasing kind of this shooter title. And they are. They are branching out to the multiplayer-verse and having a PvP shooter where you will be pinned up against another person online and you have to battle it out against each other and see who will be be declared the winner. They've still kept that art style and that style of play that makes it fun for all of the family, so people of all ages can still enjoy this title. I look forward to seeing what this one turns out like. We also have an unbelievable offer from Vive, and this isn't another alteration of the cosmos that they're trying to push, but this is something that we can all enjoy if we're playing virtual reality on our PC. So until April 19th, Vive are offering a whole year's subscription to Viveport for 27 bucks or 27 pounds instead of the original 109. So you're gonna have access to nearly a thousand virtual reality titles for the small price of around $2 per month. Now that is a bargain. Because there's some games on there that you're going to play that are worth more than that on their own. And also Pixel Rip 1995 that I mentioned earlier is going to be on Viveport on release. So if that's something you're looking forward to, this is going to be an even greater bargain. This offer is available in the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, France, Japan, Taiwan, Australia, Germany, Spain, Russia, and South Korea. You're all going to have access to this Vive port offer in joy. Okay, this is a great one. I like this. Finally, someone has created a centralized portal for all of these web XR experiences. I've tried a few myself, such as Moonrider before, and it was half decent, but you do need good internet in order to be able to use this. But it opens up the possibilities. It gives us loads of free content. And now life has just got a little easier for us to discover some great titles out there that people are making for web XR. So this portal is called XR Swim. If you go to your Oculus browser and type in xrswim.com, Com, you'll have this centralized portal for some of the best XR apps out there. You can even enjoy this on your normal desktop computer because it's WebXR, so you can go on your pancake screen, go to this website, and still be able to check out all of these titles. This is very early days still, and we should be seeing more features as this goes on, but it's great for someone to finally aggregate all of that content that's out there because some of them are really hard to find and put it into one central location. So now we're going to look on the Oculus platform, Steam, Vive, SideQuest, and now XR Swim. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. There's plenty for you to go do now, such as check out Viveport or maybe XR Swim, so you can go and enjoy some great games as well. So stick around for next time. Thank you to my patrons, you absolute legends. Happy gaming. Good day.